we're not born here and may not have a certain legal status doesn't mean that we can't contribute to society. COVID and this pandemic, what it has done is it just highlighted all of these other problems that have been like under the surface and now we cannot ignore them. People in these communities cannot afford to not work. They have to make hard choices like am I going to go to work and put food on the table for my kids or am I going to stay home to try not get sick at any crisis can create opportunities for solutions because we're in that crisis and we're like, shit, we need to do something different. Like this is not working. It, it takes a very strong society. And to be quite honest, I think that this is where women come in and leading this society to not hurt other people from the pain that we feel, but to feel our pain and ensure that we're reflecting back with compassion. We wanted to ensure that we were amplifying the voice of people who have not maybe had the chance to speak as loudly as others. In Canoga Park, I was lucky enough to be selected to paint a mural for No Going Back LA, curated by 1111. I wanted to speak to the community, something that's personal to me, but also something that I feel like everyone can share as a community, as immigrants, as people of Latino descent. The mural is of a woman, and she isn't anyone in specific because she is everyone. And in general, like all immigrants, whether they're men or women, she's someone who is looking up, hoping for dignity and justice and the recognition that she deserves as a person, whether she has a legal status in this country or not, she is a person first and foremost. And the heart and the hand symbolize that heart that I know for a fact immigrants have and what they give to their jobs and what they give for their family and what they give to, to their communities, whether it's recognized or not. As it says that they are essential, which is not only because of COVID and because they're essential workers, because most immigrants have these jobs where they need to be done regardless. They are always essential pre-COVID, during COVID, and after COVID, they will always be important members of community. Thank <laughs> you.